care for that. Yes, it's called living. Everyone prepares for death. That's what life's about. Well, life is a preparation for death. The whole of life is a preparation for death. I don't think people can prepare for death. Death just happens. You can write a will and you can buy a graveside. But um, other than that, I think you, you've got to prepare for life. If living life to the fullest and not worrying about when death will be is preparing for death, then yes. It's such a massive aspect of life. Death is such a massive aspect of life that you can never really prepare. Life is a preparation for death. Don't forget to enjoy life. Don't forget to smell the roses. Don't forget to look at the, the beauty and the wonder of the world. I think everybody prepares for death in their, their own way and people who don't find themselves, find themselves going through a very traumatic death. Most people don't want to die, but are they actually afraid of death? There's been, you know, numerous counts where, you know, an old person is dying and he's in the hospital and he knows death is near, yet he's at peace. Why? His soul knows that just because the physical world may be soon over, there's an eternal spiritual world afterwards. Make the best out of life. And if you make the best out of life, then you're all set for death. Sure, everybody should prepare for death. You know what? In, before Rosh Hashanah, you should write a uh, living will. You know what that is? It doesn't, it doesn't matter how old you are. You're 15. You're 20. You're 35. You're 40. You're 70. But right out now to your son. You don't have a son. You're 20 years old. Yeah, but... Someday, if you had a son, what would you want to tell him? My son, I've lived 20 years and this is what I accomplished. I hope you do better than me. This is what I learned from life. I mean, put down everything you learned from life. This is what I think life is about. This is, when you try to communicate to your children over after death, thinking you're gone, yeah, it doesn't matter how old you are, but it makes you think about life in different terms. What are values? What are... What is life really about? You, you try to reach it. You try to reach it because we naturally want to tell our children. If I was writing to my, a letter to my family before I passed away, um, I think I probably would let them know that they should live their life to the fullest and in the most, most truthful way possible. Well, at the end of my life, I would give the advice to my family that they should not waste time not sleep in in the mornings. Take every minute of the day. Oh, man. Don't make the same mistakes I made. Mm. Enjoy yourself. Be nice to other people. I'm too young to be giving out advice for a lifetime. I would like to leave a message that we don't live forever. So you have to remember that be happy and accomplish in life. Make something of yourself. And it would, and it would read as follows would say love as if you've never been hurt and dance as if no one can see.